Hi, my name is Eric Wing. Android Studio 2.0 was officially released the other day, and there has been much fanfare about the major speed improvements for the x86 Android emulator. So I was very interested in quantifying what this actually means for my apps. Since I couldn't actually find any concrete examples, I ran a few experiments of my own, and I thought I'd share these with anybody else who was interested. So quick disclaimer, I do video game related stuff, so my performance demands may be different than yours. In this video, we will run a simple 2D game and then a simple shader demo. For those of you not familiar with this channel, this channel is for the Blur SDK, which is a new native cross-platform SDK for 2D games, which currently supports these platforms and these languages. Blur also provides a centralized build system which gives us access to native platform IDEs. So this is really convenient for this set of experiments because we can compare our x86 Android emulated app against a real native version of the app without any emulation on the exact same x86 hardware to use as a baseline for reference. So first, let's look at the Flappy Bird clone and let's start with the native Windows version. This video is recorded at 60 frames per second to try to give you the most accurate representation of the performance I'm seeing. Flappy Bird isn't a computationally expensive game, relatively speaking, but it does use audio, hardware accelerated graphics, and as an interesting piece of trivia, does simulate real Earth gravity, and it is a highly responsive game that is supposed to run at 60 frames per second. I need to point out that the video recording software is affecting the frame rate slightly, causing it to sometimes fall a little under 60 frames per second. But this game is generally perfectly smooth here, and also on a real Android device. Next, let's look at the old x86 Android emulator from Android Studio 1.5.1. I already installed the Intel HackSim support, and I enabled the host GPU acceleration for the best performance. I should also point out that there is a noticeable additional latency for touch responses in the emulator, which are not present on the real Android device. The game runs at a little over 30 frames per second in the emulator. You can also hear the audio break up sometimes. Lastly, let's look at the new Android Studio 2.0 emulator. I enabled hardware GL acceleration and multi-core CPU support. At first launch, the game is running over 50 frames per second, showing that there is indeed a significant performance increase in the new emulator. Also, there no longer seems to be any audio breakup. However, during gameplay, the frame rate starts to jump around a lot, often going back down to around 30 frames per second, and the touch latency is still there. Because the frame rate jumps around so much more, the game is actually much harder to play, which ironically, makes the slower emulator more appealing in this respect. So now we will conclude with a shader ripple demo. I'm doing a shader experiment because whereas Flappy Blur is a good mixture of both CPU and light GPU, this next program is almost all GPU and no CPU. Here is the native Windows version. I need to point out that I had a lot of problems with the screen recording software trying to record a smooth 60 frames per second. Any hitching you see right now is actually due to the video recording software. This is perfectly smooth when not recording. Finally, let's do the 2.0 emulator. I'm skipping 1.5.1 because the screen recording didn't come out, but for this experiment, it looks like they performed about the same. The native Windows version is on the left, the Android emulator 2.0 is on the right. One final note, the shader demo freezes the new emulator sometimes. I did not see that with the old emulator. In conclusion, the performance enhancements are noticeable and a step in the right direction. However, I consider things still too slow for video game or graphics related use beyond simple spot checking. Thank you for watching. I hope you will check out some of the videos on this channel and learn more about Blur.